Think of a library and what comes to mind. Maybe the one in your hometown where you grew up pulling index cards from a filing cabinet using the Dewey Decimal System to find your sometimes musty books. Libraries have changed a lot since then, of course, to keep up with the way we get our information online. But what happens to all that old content posted to the internet? It turns out there's a library for that too. Dasha Burns of our streaming service, NBC News Now, travels to San Francisco for our Sunday Spotlight. This former church is filled with treasures from the past, but it might also hold a key to the future. So this sound has been digitized. Yes, and a lot of the uh, music that we've been digitizing just hasn't been on the internet ever. The place is home to a nonprofit called the Internet Archive. They want to be a digital library for everything. And I mean everything. Can we make it so that all the published works of humankind can be accessible to anybody? It sounds impossible, but it has happened before, back in the third century. The Library of Alexandria was amazing in that it was the collection of what the Greeks, the Romans, the Hittites, the Hebrews all had to say, and it was in one place. Brewster and his team want to resurrect the library in 21st century style. You built this beast. <laughs> yes. Why? The question is, what can you do with your technology that would be good? Well, why don't we go and build the library that's been promised all these years. But that's a pretty massive undertaking. So how big is the Internet Archive? It's about 40 petabytes. Let's put it this way. Your phone is probably in the ballpark of 64 gigabytes. 15 phones, you got a terabyte. A thousand of those is a petabyte. And 40 petabytes is the Internet Archive. Every time a light blinks, is somebody either uploading something or downloading something from the Internet Archive. These are people doing things on These the Internet. Are, over a million people a day use the Internet Archive and you can see their activity. For those who grew up with the Internet, it sort of feels like everything that's ever been is there. That's not really the case. This is a diary of a Russian general. If you didn't digitize it, how long would that last? It would just it would get lost with time. Yeah. It's an interesting challenge. How do we preserve our history, our knowledge, our information in a digital world? First step, put it all online. Just all of it. Most information today does go directly online, but the average life of a web page is only 100 days. I think there's this idea that once it's on the internet, it's there forever, but that's not really no, true. Not at all. Mark Graham is the director of the Wayback Machine. It's the internet archives, well, archive of the internet. There was a study that was done at Harvard, for example, that looked at links that were used in Supreme Court opinions mm -hmm. and found that after a few years, 49% of the links no longer resolved to the content. For the opinions of the highest court Correct. in the land. Yeah. So is the Wayback Machine fixing that? Uh, working on it, absolutely. It's become a tool for accountability. We got this phone call from someone at Google who um, asked if we had seen what uh, Donald Trump had just tweeted. The president had tweeted a video alleging Google didn't promote last year's State of the Union. So Google asked if we had a copy of the front page. They don't have a record of that. That's not their job necessarily. But it is a job for the Wayback Machine. We can show it was in fact being promoted. It's a modern-day resource that will have modern-day consequences. I think people will get a pass for some things, but I think they'll be held accountable for other aspects of their digital lives. So to you, those trade-offs are worth it? I think we're all adjusting to a digital world. For Sunday Today, Dasha Burns, San Francisco, California. Dasha, thank you very much. Beginning in May, by the way, you'll be able to watch reporting from Dasha Burns and the excellent team at NBC News Now on your favorite streaming device.